The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Unu Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Keep up! So many pretty girls around me and they're waking up the rocket. Keep up! Why you mad? Fix your face. Ain't my fault they all be jacking. Keep up! Players only. Come on, put your Good evening. Happy Tuesday night with New Era Talk. This is your host, Des, with the mostest, Kathy. Magic Mike is out making magic again tonight, so we'll talk to him, I'm sure, next week. But I've got a really special guest. But first of all, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Um, Everybody out there that made New Year's resolutions, you know who you are. Did you get it started? Because, you know, New Year's resolutions are the things that everybody seems to, you know, start out really good on, and then they kind of peter out a little bit. But um, my resolution is to rid myself of the people that just, like, shouldn't be in my life. So I left a lot of people back in 2017. I'm not kidding you when I say I've blocked their numbers. Um, if if they don't add value, if they don't help you with your own self-worth or help you make money, um, why have them around? That's the way I look at it. Um, people are there to you know either enrich your life or be a lesson in your life. But... Uh, One of the people in my life, I actually dubbed her my person, and we'll talk about that. This is my, oh my gosh, her name is Amy Shirk, and I have known Amy for over, over, like, well, 18 years about. We've worked together. Um, I'm really fortunate, though, to have been able to call her my friend. We, I mean, we've always had fun. Um... She's just one of those people in my life that literally became my person. How you doing tonight, Amy? Oh, my gosh. You're going to make me cry. You're so sweet. <laughs> Back at you, lady. Love you to death. Thank you're you. My, um, you're my person, and everybody knows you are, and it's just easy that way. Yes. Um, poor you gets to hear all the little gossip of ridiculousness that I live with from time. So, yeah. <laughs> well, let's tell everybody why you're my person, because... 2017 was really not one of my best years. I mean, we can both agree to that. That's 2017 needs to just stay in the history books, right? I mean, there's good well, things. It needs like, to stay in the past where it belongs. Exactly. Where a for lot both of people, us for a lot of different reasons. Exactly. But so, everyone, I had some health problems this year. So, Amy was my wonderful friend. I had a, what was it that I had done? I had a biopsy. You had a biopsy, and then you were in the emergency room, and it was right. horrible. It was horrible. So I had this biopsy, but Amy went with me because she goes, I'm just going to go with you because they're not that pleasant. I'm like, well, I only have to take ibuprofen. I don't think it's going to be that bad, but it was horrible. And Amy was in there. She was my person holding my hand while I'm having this awful procedure done that the doctor goes, oh, wait, I need to do another one. And I'm screaming, and it was horrible. But she was there with, with was. me. And then four days later, I'm in the ER in, seriously, the worst pain of my life. It was horrible. But while I was going through that, what kind of drugs did they have me on? Dilaudid? They had you on, like, everything. The hardest stuff they could give you, like the Dilaudid, they gave you morphine, and you're still screaming through the pain. I'm like, oh, my God, give her something to make her comfortable, for the love of God, please. It was horrible. It was during that time, though, that I called you my person, wasn't it? It was. was in one of your screaming things, yes. I said, my you... person, go get me drugs. This is ridiculous. I oh, said, my God, I can't handle this. I said something, I'm like, you're my person. You're the one person that's been through everything with me. You know everything about me, and you're still... Here for me is pretty much what I remember. You You are too. But, uh, yeah, so Amy and I go way back, everyone. And, you know, I hope everybody's got that person. I've I've been really blessed to have literally some of the best friends ever. A lot of laughter, a lot of tears. But uh, one of the things that Amy did this year was she moved away from me. (laughs) 
<laughs> so um, to a much warmer climate. So if if you don't know this, Minnesota's a little cold this time of year. In fact, over the weekend we had negative thirty two wind chill. It was stupid cold, is how I call it. I thought it was negative seventy five in Fargo. Yeah, Neg- Morehead area. That's yeah, ridiculous. Of course, of course, Fargo. Yeah, it's Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> But so, yeah, let everybody know where you're at, where you're so... I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona. Mm-hmm. So it was, I don't know, 80 on Friday. And so me being the terrible friend that I am, of course, had to take a picture of it and send it to her just to rub it in. Right. <laughs> but uh, it's all good. It's all good. I know. Because when it's July and it's 120, I'll be going, oh, really? Well, it's 85 here in Perfect. And then I'll be moving, but then I'll be like, okay, time to come back and visit. <laughs> right. And so, well, you know what? The weather guy today said, here's the deal, because everybody goes, oh, my God, how can you live there? And how can you live with that cold? But it's like, well, here's the deal. When it's really cold, we can put on extra layers, right? Right. We can put on extra layers and... When it's really hot, you can't really legally take everything off. You just can't, you know? You just really Hello? can't. Are you there? Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I accidentally disconnected Amy. Hold on one second. One second here. Let me get her back on the phone. But, um, here we go. The wrong button. me somebody else was calling and i accidentally hit end call <laughs> so hold one second here she comes hey you're so mad i sent you that 80 degree picture aren't you oh that must have been it right <laughs> you know what i did somebody called me and i i accidentally hit end call instead of Aww. whatever it was but don't you hate it when you pick up the wrong call you want to put on hold right it's like oh, oh no i, don't no, want I didn't want to that talk person. to that person <laughs> <laughs> speaking of speaking of people that we don't want to talk to, so Amy and I are kind of, um, I don't know, is the word devious? Is that a good one to use? Mischievous, devious, all yeah, evil. Yeah, devious, devious, yeah. aggrievous. But, there you um, go. <laughs> we've had people that um, have done us wrong in the past. And so we like to call them, you know, let's not use the words because you know what? Some people might take offense, but we don't want to offend people that don't deserve to be offended. Just the ones that That's true. Be. We just need to offend the ones that do need to be offended. And you know what? If they're dumb enough to listen to us, they know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> they deserve what they do then, right? Right. Exactly. But... So we have talked about different people and just that's what friends do. Exactly. So like for example, there is one person that couldn't afford a laptop that I said, Well, fine, I'll help. And that person said that they would pay me back and they never did. And you know what? That's that's the kind of stuff that you think that you're doing something good and you really have to, that's one of those people in your life that is a lesson that gets left behind in 2017, right? And a lesson never to be repeated, just like I have a lesson too. Right. So, but here's what's so funny about it is because that said person thinks that they've got me all blocked on everything, but Amy being my person... <laughs> is unknowingly to this other person friends and we'll so, just call him bob to make it easy yes so it's it's a bob report that i get from time to time and we laugh about it and we've plotted because i'm friends with bob on facebook and bob is too stupid to figure it out so hey let's get some laughs right exactly so we do have our laughs at bob's expense but um, oh yes I mean, we're gonna we're gonna leave him in 2017 until we decide maybe we want to you know push. We don't. No, leaving. Bye. <laughs> 2017. 
2017. <laughs> Not worth our time. Not worth our time. Yeah, exactly. Bye, Felicia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Felipe. Oh, my God, it's hysterical. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, and so, Amy, you had one that oh, God. you loaned. And we'll call him Dan. Um, That's a good idea. Yeah. We're changing the names to protect the guilty. I hope everyone knows that this was me. Exactly. So <laughs> this guy, I was not real fond of him anyway, was I? No. Oh, I mean, God, no. You thought he was the flag. You're like, get away from him. He's a, terrible. Right. And I mean, But, of course, I don't listen because I'm typical me. I have to make my own mistakes. And, exactly. oh, no, he's cool. Just don't worry. It's fine. Right. Whatever. And knowing that, you know, your person's always going to be there no matter what. Right. You you make mistakes, tell me things I don't want to hear because that's what you do when you love your friends. Right. I tell you the things. It's like, and then I tell you, well, I know you're not going to listen to what I tell you anyway. Exactly. But, you know, I'm going to tell you just because I feel like I need to. So then I can say, I told you so. Exactly. Because <laughs> I go, well. <laughs> and then, we, then I'm like, shut up. It's 80 and you're 8. So be quiet. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a 100-degree difference between us right now. But, yeah, yeah. so hers that never paid back money either. Why are we nice? Um, because here's the problem. We're nice because we're good people. They're slime bags because they're slime bags and they use people. I mean, it's really that simple. There's two yeah. types of people, givers and takers, and they both were takers. Right, exactly. And, and they're both just royal, I mean, just colossal pieces of garbage who borrows money or a laptop and doesn't make good on what they were going to do. I mean, come on, what kind of terrible human do you have to be? Right, exactly. It just disgusts me that those people, like, their conscience never haunts them. If I owed somebody, like, ten bucks, my conscience would haunt me if I had paid them back in, like, three days. Right. But, you know, that's, again, the difference between givers and takers, and takers are just out for themselves and love to use people. Well, I was talking to somebody yesterday about this exact kind of situation, and I said, you know, I'm so embarrassed that I let that happen. And she's like, no, you shouldn't be embarrassed. That person is the one that should be embarrassed. Never be embarrassed about being a good person and doing exactly. what you think. But it's like you get embarrassed because you realize that they took advantage of you or, you know, you open up to somebody and you tell them, you know, personal things about yourself and they use it against you. I mean, it's it's like, wow. It, oh, that's the worst. That's just what, that just makes me ill when people do that. It, yeah, it really does. And, um, you know, like, well, I know. Here's one. Amy. I Kathy. I used to like this one guy, okay? I used to like this guy in junior high school, and I told you about him, oh, let's say 20 years ago, because it's been, you know, only 20 years since I was in junior high. Pretend for a second. Okay, we're pretending. Sure, that's all good. And we're going to hold hands and skip, but... Okay, cool. <laughs> la, 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 la. But, okay, I told you that I kind of had a crush on him, and oh my gosh... I ran into him, and, oh, my God, he's still really cute. And okay. And told you his name and everything. Then you run into him knowing this, okay? Okay. He, yeah. doesn't, he doesn't know that you know me. Right. Okay? And you start, he's being the kind of person that he is, and he's flirting with you. What could you do in that situation? I'm just gonna. I'm just be just like, gonna hey, I know you. you know my good, you know my person, Kathy. We can be friends, but that's gonna be it because that's what girl code is. You don't ever cross the line and be shady and be sneaky. And God forbid you ever touch one of your girlfriend's exes without permission. I mean, that's just a horrible offense. Well, the fact that even, I mean, you need to ask permission. It's like. Uh, you even want to go there? I mean, I guess it could be I would never go friends. there, but that's me. Again, right. morals, and some people don't have any, and some people are, you know, pathetic patty, where it doesn't matter what you say, they're going to go after stokers, and it's disgusting. Ick. Right. I, I, Super ick. Well, I mean, girl code, I mean, so 
if I've ever thought of, wanted to, spoke of, had a fling with, had a relationship with, slept with, wanted to sleep with, Amy? The answer is equivocally no. Right. You don't sit there and do all this stuff behind someone's back and... No, because your, your friends are your tribe. They're the, you know, the family you choose. And the last thing you want to do is, pardon my French, but shit on people that you care about. Right. And for somebody to do that, I mean, I, they've got no soul. Right. It is. And they're just the lowest of the low. Well, and it's more, okay, and guys, I'm really sorry. I don't mean to throw you under the bus, but for women to have really good girlfriends, I mean, we get really excited about when we make a new girlfriend, don't we? Oh, my God, totally, because it's very hard for women to trust other women. Right. And so when you think you have a new friend and you're all excited and you're hanging out and you're bearing your souls, you think, it, uh -huh. when that person ends up being a not good person, it hurts more than a breakup with a guy. Oh, totally. I mean, it's, I mean, and I've had some crazy old friends, as we all know, even you, especially for a few stories. But when people, you know, you're really tight with somebody and then you're like, oh, my God, you're absolutely single white female insane. <laughs> I, I can't be friends with you. Single I got to cut ties. Insane. Right. I'm going to come home, you know, I, I'm scared that if I literally show up at your house, you're going to be boiling a bunny or something really messed up like that. And you're just too crazy for me to hang out with. And I've cut those ties a long time ago, and it's the best decision I've ever made because the drama that went along with it is gone. And, and you know, you get to drama. That's, what the heck? That part of it, too. Now, I remember talking to you about some of your friends in the past where it's, it literally sounded like junior high. Oh, it's like a three-ring circus. That's why I'm like, I have no time for that these days. And if you are 30 and above... I don't care, 20 and above. Any, It's just, it's it's so crazy how catty and ridiculous people can be. And they they test you. They, like, oh, well, I had so-and-so tell you all this stuff to see if you were really a friend. What? Yeah, no, I have no time for that. I mean, have you had that happen? Oh, my God, of course. And oh. it's just these people that... They need, a, they need to work more, volunteer, donate their time, or do something productive with their life. Right. Instead of sitting around in their base and thinking of stupid little ways to be evil. I don't have time for that. Right. Exactly. I mean, it's... And once you try to pull anything shady, I'm done. I, I have no room in my life for anybody crazy anymore. Oh, I know. I know. It's between the crazy neighbors that I've had over the last few years, which we all know about, right. <laughs> which we can talk about okay. too later. We can. And you know we will. <laughs> or um, the stupid, I think this dude is cool, so therefore I'm going to give him money or a laptop because I like him and find out that the world's biggest D-bags. I mean, it's just, it's enough. Right. I don't have, no, none of us have time for that anymore. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. No. No exactly. kidding. What was that? Remember that funny thing? I got the bronchitis. Ain't got no time for that. <laughs> what was that? It was so good. No time. Oh, my God. It was hysterical. They put it to music and everything, and now I can't remember it. But, I can't either, but I know what you're talking yes, about. I remember watching ain't it. Ain't nobody it got hilarious. time for that shit or something. Somebody oh should God. send you that. When they Somebody. find it on YouTube, they should send it to you. I'm sure they will. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's But it was the bronchitis. I got the bronchitis. I ain't got no time for that. or so, I don't remember. <laughs> but, That's um, so funny. Speaking of how, I, you know what? One thing I got to say to you, Amor, is, is that you've always had time for me. And really, even though we're not in the same state anymore, um, I'll be there. I think. Oh, I, I know. And that's the cool thing, you know, that you learn as you get older. Make time for people that are important in your life. Right. The people that aren't important, you cut you just are done with and yep. you don't make time for them. The people that have been in your corner when you've been down and out and yep. thought the world was against you, those people will be with you when you rise. Right, exactly. That's, um, you know, and like I said, I've, I've been really blessed. I've got friends that I've had all my life, friends that I've had for a really long time like you, you know, people that like, hey, you know what? 
You're right there, and you're not going to judge me. You might, oh, laugh, God, no. you might laugh at me. So really, oh, I'll totally point and laugh at you, but you would do exactly. the same with me. Exactly, especially when I fall down or do something. Oh, when you fall down, then it's laughs, then help you up. Come on now, we both know this. Well, when you fall <laughs> down, you, you are, you know, holding back the laughter while you're like, are you okay? Then, right. <laughs> then it's like, then we both laugh. But especially with alcohol involved. But um, No, never. Yeah. So it's uh it's so funny though because I literally this well you know what wait tell me what you did for New Year's Eve because then I'll tell oh, you about so mine. What's it, okay, so I'll tell you and you'll actually find some of this cool. So I went to this bar in Scottsdale called BLK. I saw this band Colors of Chaos. Lance from Bang Tango with the bass players in there. Then Bang Tango played. Then I saw a rat. I love my 80s fleas metal. What can I say? Oh, you guys, yeah, this is 80s Amy, by the way. Of course. Hello. We all know 80s Amy. Exactly. So it was great. You know, got to put away all the ridiculousness for a night and just go out and have fun. Um, Now, who did you go with? How many friends were you with? I was with two, and then I made new friends, and I love new friends because they're always very fun. Yes. So there's actually a picture where there's three of us Amy's under one roof, and the place didn't ex- implode. So that's pretty impressive. Wow. Because there's really only one bar can handle one Amy. Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so I had dinner with some girlfriends, and we went out and had a great time, and I was a sober cat, so everybody got home safe. Wait, now, you made dinner, didn't you? I did. What did you make? She's a good cook, folks. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, so this is like, I don't measure anything when I cook. I grilled chicken, oregano, garlic, and pepper. Um, you put some water in there, simmer the chicken once it's all cooked. Let it marinate in that for about 10, 15 minutes. Some egg noodles with some butter and Parmesan cheese. There's dinner. Easy peasy and cheese. Yeah. When you're and it's too terrible for dinner. you. The Parmesan cheese isn't the best in the butter, but it's the noodles. But hey, on the grand scheme of things, it's not that bad. Right. And you uh-huh. have- Okay, so did you kiss anybody at midnight? Nope. That's good. That's good. Then you... I know. Okay, so me. I hugged my friend, so. Well, that's good. I did hug my friend because I was with my friend, so we did hug. So I. But I'm totally cool with that. Well, you know, I've, I've got this really sweet guy that I've been dating. Yeah. Guys, don't be brokenhearted because you don't need to be because I'm still single and still available. But, um, you know, there's, he's kind of like, like Jamie says, keep your options open, options, right? Options, you know, legs. I mean, did I say it? Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, indecent. Um, no, so this guy, is he's an absolute sweetheart. Your mother, you haven't met him, but your mom has, and your mom likes him. I know, him. and that's crazy, and my mom adores him. And, no, and he's super nice, and he's uh, if I, you know, if we said Kathy was dating the seven dwarfs, this one is sleepy. That's, <laughs> <laughs> I was married to Grumpy. What in the hell? <laughs> but anyway. Well, at least you're put up in the world and not marrying down to Grumpy. <laughs> exactly. Now you're married. Now you're with Sleepy. See, what are the other ones? There's Sneezy, Doc. Ooh, I need to find Doc. Uh, yeah, we're going to find yeah. Doc. Preferably a plastic surgeon. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> I'm coming visit. They're yes, all over they're here. All in over Scottsdale. I'm on my way. But um, I know, right? And so anyway, um, you know, he's a sweetheart, and and I said, well, come to my house since I have the dogs, and you know, so I made dinner. I made beef. and tell them what you made because it's ridiculous. Because it because only because it was New Year's, but I made beef Wellington, lobster. Yum. The lobster was amazing too. Twice baked oh. potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Okay, I'm sure you guys are getting like totally hungry through the phone now after she told you what she made. I know I am. Right. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it turned out really well. And then, I mean, but now it's like only seven o'clock. <laughs> and, you know, well, I was kind of tired too. So we just, we put on, you know what? Netflix and chill does not register with this guy all right just <laughs> it's just chill and sleep <laughs> it's like netflix and sleep but i was okay with that because <laughs> that's what he does oh my god bless his heart if that gets coined as a hashtag in the He's... next 24 hours netflix and sleep i'm gonna die laughing netflix and sleep oh my gosh but yes yeah, so um so we we put on 
Dave Chappelle, which was hysterical. Oh and, yeah. I mean, because he starts starts out with this punchline, and I cooked and I kicked her in the pussy. But it's just, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, this guy's hysterical. But guess what happened? I mean, we both had a really good dinner, and we fell asleep. But I kind of knew that was going to happen because I had too much to drink on Friday night because. Another one of my people, she's not my person, though. You're my only person. But my darling friend, Nicole, <laughs> who's also seen me at my worst, like, delivering a baby, which actually... Yeah, yeah better her than me. That was actually better than what you saw. That that oh, Lord. But, oh, um, Lord. But, yeah, so he was in town, and somehow we drank three bottles of wine, and... Uh, it's just like, yeah, you want another one? Well, I'm not, do you want some wine? Well, I'm not drinking. But, okay, for you, I will. <laughs> it's like three exactly. bottles of wine later in the hotel. And I just, yeah, I just didn't, I hadn't recovered well enough. So by New Year's Eve, I was just like, oh, okay. But then, so I drank wine with dinner and took a nap. And I set my alarm so we'd be up by 11. <laughs> because we did, we fell asleep. But we'd fall asleep, and then we'd wake up, and then we'd fall asleep, and then we'd wake up. And then I remember it being, like, 1146, and I go, hey, I got little hats and noisemakers, and we should open up the champagne. And next thing I know, it's 10 after midnight. Dang it! So, oh, man, it. I know! It was just so funny, because, like, wow. So it was, I gotta say, it was kind of nice, though, just being really low-key, and napping. Yeah, no, low key is great. I haven't gone out in New Year's Eve in a long time, so it was really fun, especially in another state where you can actually see a concert outside on New Year's Eve and not freeze to death. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, for me, that's totally new and foreign, and I absolutely love it. So it's yeah. great. No, that's that is fun. Yeah, so mine yeah, was super fun. But of course, then because I slept so long, I all of a sudden I'm like, oh. He went back to sleep. But <laughs> I, now all of a sudden I'm awake. I'm going, hmm, la, 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 happy. And so I'm sending my little Happy New Year's texts to everybody. So it's after, you know, 12, 31 o'clock. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy yes, New Year. Yes, I can get one. Yeah, so I'm sending those I know out. I texted you after the band was over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm just, like, sitting there next to him. Priorities. Just, you know, you, you love me, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he literally, he was snoring. And I sat there and just texted people. I'm like, oh, my God, this is like being married or something weird. Ick. But, Ick. No, he's a sweetheart, though. He actually, here's yes, how Yes, he's a super sweetheart. Here's how much he falls asleep. I went over, he invited me over to watch a Vikings game. It's when we played the Panthers and lost. So I, I know now that it all revolves around me because I have to you're watch the princess. it. Either, right? I, either at, no, you're the queen. Sorry, I'm the princess. Let's get this straight. Exactly. Cause <laughs> let's just say this. We're royal bitches. How's that? But, <laughs> yeah, that works too. <laughs> um, no, but I was like at the at his house watching the game, and I get what I call football Tourette's if it's not going. Oh, out. I know you do. Yeah, and so he. I get me in the room with you when you watch football. I have to be in the kitchen because I talk. Right. Oh, I know, right? Oh, I remember that. Yes. I remember that. Get back in the face, back in the face, freaking break his leg, break his arm. I say, I say like the oddest things, and so it's hilarious. Sleepy. Like, you morph into like a dude's mouth during a football game. I know. I well, and I'm worse than the dudes. I think. I'm really, I know. That's the funnier part. I'm like, whoa! What that just came out of her? Oh my god! Well, I know. Well, that so, sounds like something I'd say. <laughs> so he's he's like asleep on the you know because I'm sitting next to him on the couch and he's falling asleep head back. When <sighs> what the game is? Who falls asleep during the game? Really? And so well, I do because I, I don't watch football. <laughs> right. So I literally, I mean, whatever happened, I'm like, bust, frickin' frack, flackin', mech, flackin', flackin', frackin'. And he lo- wakes up and looks at me and he goes, You kiss people with that mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Only the nasty people. Thanks. <laughs> he was like, Oh my God. I mean, he just could, he was like in shock because he, he thinks I'm a lady. And I'm so because I've been around it for so long. I'm like, yeah, whatever, Kathy's watching football, no big deal. I know. Speaking but, of- yeah, so I'm sure everybody's got a naughty little thing that they watch or do that they would, like, be mortified if their significant other saw them. 
Oh, see, no, you have to have a significant other that is right there with you. Being the right, same but way. I'm saying that they busted you doing that, like your little Tourette's moment with football. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you were like, ah, hi, <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> no, okay, here's something funny. So when I was at the Vikings-Packers game, Griff, I went with Griff, and right. he was needing his flight changed, so I was in the back of the suite, we were in the Legends suite, and... Oh, cool. I was looking at my phone trying to get a different flight for him. And all of a sudden I hear all this noise and I walk up further and I stand next to this guy. His name is Paul Krause, Hall of Fame. And I go, what happened? And he goes, Rogers is down. I go, is he hurt? He goes, looks like it. I go, oh, I hope it's not too bad. And Paul he looks at me and he goes, yes, you do. And I go, hey. Yeah, see, when I'm in the suite, everybody's just, like, really cool. Proper. Well, so I can't talk the way that I, I would no, at my house. No, you're not. Not in the suite. So, because normally not. I would be screaming. I'd say things like, break his arm! Break his finger! You know, I'd yell that stuff. <laughs> but they actually oh, broke his... And they did. They broke his collarbone. And oh, I could... I didn't yell it. <laughs> it was like... And I couldn't, that's but, why. But Paul's like going, you yes, public, you, you couldn't do. respond appropriately. He, he looks at me, he's say. like, you do want him to be hurt. I go, well, uh, uh, he's like, you know you do, we all do. And I go, okay, well, I just didn't know if he was your friend or not. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> nice cover, I nice cover, nice. I love it. So it was, it was actually pretty classic, it was one of my favorite. He's like, yes, you do. You want him to be hurt. Oh, my God. Well, so funny. Amy, so speaking of football and speaking of the yes. stadium, oh my God, you haven't been in the stadium yet. It's... I have not, but my family has, and they said it's like incredible. They said, well, they went to one of the first Vikings game there because <clears throat> my whole family bleeds purple. As they and should. they said it was like being at a Super Bowl. And they've been to like the Rose Bowl and everything else. They said the new stadium was incredible. It far out exceeded their expectations of what it was supposed to be like. It is it is amazing, and the fact that we have the Super Bowl here. In fact, the NFL uh, took over control of our stadium today. For the Super what? Bowl. No way! Are you serious? Yes. And <clears throat> um, anyway, so the Vikings though kind of messed it up a little bit because now we're in the playoffs. And darn, huh? I heard they won over the weekend. They did. They did. They did. Yeah. Well, they congratulations. Won. Thank you. Yeah, no, we're in the playoffs. No, we no got a bye week. See, I had to move out of state for your team to win. See, thank you. <laughs> Don't you got rid come of the back. Arm. Don't come back until after football season then, okay? No, but, you know what? Okay. Amy, we've lost. Kathy. Amy, when you've been at my house, when I'm watching football, we've lost, haven't we? Okay, so that's it. I, see, I'll just stay away. There we go. And then I'll come. There we go. We, we found it. I'll season. stay away from you when you gamble <laughs> <laughs> at the casino. <laughs> right. Exactly. And then I'll stay away when football's on, and then they'll win, and then I can come over and you know you have a flight and then hang out. I know you've learned not to even call me during football games. Oh. So God no! I know better. You're like a dude. Like don't even talk. Only during halftime, not during commercials. Although I'm, I'm unlike a dude in that I will have. Home, I will have sex during the game as long as I can be looking at the TV. That's totally dude like, and you and I both know that. I aren't well, you know what? You have caught me on so many different occasions being like a dude. <laughs> so, I know you're like, God, okay. you're such a guy, Kathy. Stop it. But <laughs> I have, and you've caught me on some of them too. So, hey, it goes both ways. Well, like when somebody's like, I love you, and you're like, What'd you say? Oh, I just pretended I didn't hear it. And you're like, Oh my god, you're <laughs> such a dude. Yeah. <laughs> This is what happens when you're, I didn't hear anything. When you're yeah, older you and you're dating. It's just really, it's so weird. Dating now is so weird, Amy. Uh, tell me about it. I mean, meet guys. I mean, here's the deal. They all think you want a dick pic. Like, I'm oh sorry. My. Oh, can we talk about unsolicited dick pics? Ex yes, let's. Okay, cool. It's one thing if you ask for it, fine, whatever. That's on you, okay? But it was like, hi, and then it's a picture, and you're like, really? Really? 
okay, so where did you get that one? That the one that you're talking about right now. Did you know this person? Did you just meet not him very, online? Not well enough to be showing him, seeing that. Right. You know, here's what's really funny too is that. A and lot I'm like, okay, um, that's really that'll get my attention for like two seconds. And now I'm like, you're a douche. <laughs> right. So okay. <laughs> Now, I don't know many people that have probably more than I have sent to me. I have no idea. I mean, it's pretty pathetic. Oh, yeah, of course. But <laughs> it's like, <laughs> all right, what do I do to you when you least expect it? I send you one just out of the blue. <laughs> oh, no, here's what you do. Don't... Amy, I got this really great pair of shoes. I'm going to send them to you. Oh, my God, really? <laughs> can't wear heels and I think heels are great. Yeah. Sexy, but I can't wear them because I'm too clumsy. <laughs> yes. And oh, guess what I get? I get a random dick picture. I'm like, are you just fucking kidding me? Really? Oh my God. <laughs> but it's usually when I'm in a meeting. It's like never when I'm like out on my break. It's usually when I'm like supposed to be paying attention to stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to die laughing. <laughs> or like you're like checking out at the store. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's like in the line at Target or, you know, in line somewhere, like, you know, getting food or something. And it's like, oh, really? And I just bust out laughing. Everyone looks at me like, is she okay? <laughs> it's like, so awful. You'd understand if you saw this. <laughs> Don't, but you can't but see it. But you're not going to because I'm more tied up. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> that's why I love you so much because <laughs> I can't do that to anybody else you, because you're my person. No, and I've got like a cult. I used to have it one, and I don't know where it is, but there used to be like a random one that you would send me, and I'd send them back to you just to be a turd. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, who does this belong to? I'd be like, oh, shoot, who was that guy again? I don't remember. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't make the cut. I didn't meet him, right? <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. I Oh, my God. I, sound, I do sound like a guy. Wow. <laughs> Oh, my God. No, and yes, we do judge, gentlemen. We do. It does matter. Oh, anybody that says they don't is not mean. Oh, my God. So, all right, well, now we're on that subject. So, you guys are just getting to listen to two friends talk. Okay, so. So, hopefully, you're all being entertained because this is the norm. Right. Okay. It matters, right? It totally matters. Everything matters. Have you ever... Like, met somebody and was like, oh, I don't even know. You ever, I mean, what have you done? I mean, obviously, you've seen more <laughs> little ones know. than I have. <laughs> like, we can't tell the story. My mom's going to hear this. She'll be mortified. No, she won't. We're not going to tell no, it. No, she will. <laughs> My mom, too. Oh, my why? God, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Whatever. Well, we're duh, grown, we're I grown have ups. been, and I'm like, okay, watch the mouth. We're grown <laughs> Mom will hear this. Behave. Yes. Hi, Kath. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to just start calling this coffee with Kathy when I'm on. Because she's usually, you're usually drinking coffee when we catch oh, up. I know. I didn't even bring my coffee upstairs. But, well, you better go get it. Yeah. Well, I accidentally hung up on you. That's enough for tonight. Um, I suppose, yeah. So, what, what, what's happened? What have you done in that situation? What have I done in that situation? I'm like, oh, my God, really? Yeah. In a bad way? Yeah. Have you, like... <clears throat> it's not all about that. I mean, if they were a decent human and it wasn't, like, normal, but it was on the smaller side, then, hey, you know, we can still talk and be cool, whatever. But everything in life is negotiable. <laughs> so if you're not good at one thing, you better be good at another. <laughs> <laughs> but have you ever had that moment where it's like it's the first time and you're like, oh. <laughs> it's like, uh oh. Um, you know, one of my friends, it's not you, it's going to rename Aimless. Yeah. And if she listens to this, she's going to absolutely lose her mind laughing. She literally, she's messing around with some dude, he whipped his pants out, pulled his pants down, whipped it out, and she's like, get out, you're too small. She said it. She kicks him out. That's funny. That is hilarious. And sad at the same time because think about that. That's going to take a lot of, oh, well, maybe he's got big balls. Nothing else is big. But, I mean, that's... <laughs> that's that was actually the problem. Big <laughs> balls are huge. 
Oh my god. Well, oh my god. I know. She's like, you gotta go. I'm so Bye. sorry, people. I know this is so inappropriate, but it's funny too. No. Of course it is. It's kind of like if you gotta take a pen light and tweezer to find it. Amy, one of the things that you said was one. Oh of, God! What now? Oh my God! No, this was one of the funniest things that she said about somebody that was in her life. <laughs> it was like, okay, wait, <laughs> try not to laugh. It's like looking for l- looking for a mushroom in the forest. <laughs> And you know who it was. It was like hunting. It was like mushroom hunting in their tube. That was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to die. I was like, seriously, where is it? Where is it? Come on now. Right. And then like you... mushroom hunting in the forest. It was so bad. That's so funny. And then and now I can never eat mushrooms because of that joke. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> and then <laughs> it cracks every time. Like I will be walking down the aisle in the grocery store. I'm like mushrooms. Like I'm like, snickering like I'm five. Oh my god, that was so funny. So um. And then the other thing that you said to me, because I was driving and I was stuck in traffic and I had to go to the bathroom and you were on one of your rolls and I'm talking to you and you said, if he would just manscape, I'd hit it like a Northern. (laughs) Well, it was true. It was like going, oh my God, you have to stop. I have to go to the bathroom. That was one of the... We we get some, we get some really good ones that, I mean, we think, we think we're really funny, actually. We're hilarious when nobody's looking. We're even more hilarious when people are listening. I know. Listening to some, you guys are listening to some of our conversations right now. I. <laughs> or is it Memorex? But um, here's a nice thing, too. So here's Amy, in 80s Amy, took me to my first <laughs> Brett Michaels concert. I did, in L.A. Guns. Yes. But remember when we went to see Brett Michaels and I wore my cute cowboy hat that I got in Cabo and we stayed, it was up at the casino in Hinkley. Oh God, that was the night I got so drunk. I bought a ho- shirt with horses on it. And if anybody knows me, I'm she terrified hates, of horses. That's how horses. drunk I was. Well, let's talk about how drunk we were before we went. Oh God, we're going to tell that story. Yeah. So Amy goes, I've got this really, <laughs> I've got this really good spray tan, and do you want do you want to try it? And I go, yeah, okay. Now we're already drinking, so I stand in the tub, and you spray me, and then all of a sudden you're like, don't squint your eyes or anything because you don't want lines. I go, okay. So I just have my face like really blank with my eyes closed, and you spray me, <laughs> and then you spray my face again. And I go. Oh, it wasn't showing up. I wanted it to match. I didn't want you to have like the tan body and the white feet. Right. So that because nobody was going to see my body because it was winter. But anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> so the night progresses, and we're up front, right up front, and Brett Michaels points at me. Points at me. Remember that? I go. I do with yeah. your cowboy hat. Yeah, because I'm like going. He wants me, Amy. Sorry. And people were looking. Remember, people were checking me out. They were looking at me. Oh, yeah. I'm going, dang, I must look really good because everybody's looking at me. And you're like, yeah, you do look really good. And then we meet the band. Of course. And so you know what where I'm going. And then, you know, so I'm just like, woohoo, out of control, crazy. Has I have not gone to the bathroom the whole concert. Neither of you. Because we're just like, and I mean, literally, we were right up against the stage, and Brett Michael pointed at me. I thought it was because yeah, of and there's pictures on it. There's pictures. There's actually pictures of the rest of the story in existence, so you all know that yeah, they do exist. Yes, and here's what happened. I go to the bathroom, and I look in the mirror, and I'm an Oompa Loompa orange. <laughs> I mean, Sorry. Donald Trump had nothing. On me. No, you were like five shades oranger than he is. I was I'm so sorry, orange. I love you. And I love, and I screamed. I go, Amy! I just yelled it. <laughs> and you come in the bathroom and you're I go, look at my face. <laughs> it was like I was so orange. And then I mean the picture, I actually I remember showing somebody I worked with, she was crying and she was in pain because she was laughing so hard. <laughs> I'm like, look at me. <laughs> and then I even had a, a mustache. 
from my like oh, from hand. the spray tan, yeah. Yes. Oh my god. It was so Oh my god, that was so funny. But I was. Everybody wanted me, I thought. But the picture Well, it didn't look right with the lighting. You went in the bathroom and I'm like, Oh god, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't, obviously, because I'm still alive. Right, and I'm still here loving you. So my no, no, oh my punishment, God. aren't you? I think, I don't know what's here. Is the fact that I was orange or the fact that I thought people thought I looked good? Because they kept looking at me. I don't know. Probably the orange. Oh <laughs> no, I'm just using. Oh, all of it. All together. Was, then it was just like, oh, well, let's just drink more. Who cares? And I... <laughs> It's too late. No, I've quit because but, I was oh my too God. good at it. Seriously, I'm. We met the band, and I'm orange. That's what's so funny. Like, <laughs> who was the guy with like the blue? You know what? Like they should talk. They, one guy had a blue mohawk. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, why do you care? One's got a blue mohawk. That was the drummer. Okay, I yeah, his name, and he was. Yeah, he had a blue mohawk. He didn't feel good. It was like he probably thought right. I didn't feel good too because I was orange instead of green. <laughs> Oh my god, I was. It was an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> so funny. Oh my god. You what? guys are all going to have to submit like millions of dollars to see these pictures with some Kathy. That they have. Right? <laughs> you know what? I should do a fundraiser. Like, oh my hey, god, everybody, you should. We'll put, you know, actually money that will go to me and Amy for our vacation fund. <laughs> hey, I like this. So I can get Where are we going? no more spray tans ever. I have never spray tanned ever again. <laughs> No, now you go to somebody that knows what they're doing instead of your friend while you stand in your swimsuit in the shower. <laughs> oh, my God. I still can't believe I stood there. And then I was like, and I literally, I'm like, why did you do that again without moving my mouth? I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she's still my friend. How awesome are you? That's right. See, that's what friends are for. We forgive. We forget. No, we didn't, we'll never forget that because it's just too funny. Oh, God, no. But, no. <laughs> Amy, you know what? In all these years, I honestly don't think you've pissed me off, even. Oh, my God, that's a miracle. Can, I, can we record that? So that you know, it is recorded. Like, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is recorded. No, really, if you think about it. I mean, I've said things like, yeah, Amy, it, but... don't do that. You know, and you'll be like, no, I really don't like that you said that. I mean, we've, but nothing. No. No, because we have a lot of mutual respect for each other. Which more women to have in general with other women and not be ashy things that are out there. Right. Exactly. I mean, just be real. I mean, that's what's so awesome. I mean, and the nice thing is, is Amy and I both like different kinds of guys. So we'll never have to. Totally. They're 100% different. 100%. Um, so you, like, you like very distinguished looking gentlemen and I like rock dudes with eyeliner. I mean, that's just what it is. Exactly. And so. Yeah, so I normal like, dudes and no, not so much. It just doesn't work. Yeah. I don't like guys that have prettier hair than me. Yeah, I know. So you don't like the rocker dudes. Well, I'm, you know what? I'm not against any dudes in gen in general. I mean, if they're good. It's and, just not your thing. Yeah. But I'm not saying that I wouldn't be interested if, you know, like, if it was the right person. Right. You know, and he's over six foot two and built and funny and... And doesn't have a mushroom in the forest. No, no. <laughs> Unless it's a, one of those big giant mushrooms that they have. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Portobello. Yeah. Yeah, it's a portobello mushroom that's taught. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> no, oh, my God, Amy. <laughs> Then we'll hit it like a northern. Um, we all, yeah, we always have to hit things like like a northern. Oh my God, this is I, I used to fish. I caught a couple of funny things back in the day. That's so funny. Yeah, you don't want to gum. Oh, so you don't want to gum it like a bass and spit it out. That's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I just made that one up. Can't. I like it. That's I like right. it. That's got a little zing to it. I like that a lot. So you know what? I so I've gotten uh, off topic because. That's what I do when I talk to you. Um, no, it's okay. We both do it. So, Super Bowl. Like yes. I said, that's here. You guys, there's some amazing so I have to things stay away happening. until the Vikings win, right? <laughs> well, you can't. Yeah, you can't be here until after. Amy. Oh, okay, you can. Well, then I'll come visit in the summer. 
No, no, no. Actually, you can be here before the game. Oh, okay. okay. So you, because there's ten days. Oh. Because it, everything Super Bowl Live starts on January twenty sixth, and that's really yes. And we have the zip line, and that's going to be okay, running that looks every day. So cool. Over the Dude, Mississippi. I don't even, how many CF is it? Do you know? Seventy. No, it's across. Shush, 70, that looks so cool. Seventy feet across the river, I think. Uh, I don't remember, but I'll put it out there on social media. Okay, yeah, the zip line looks awesome. It would look better if it was a warmer temperature, but it still looks awesome. You know, just as long as it's really fast and you can get over it. Oh yeah, that, yeah, exactly. But that's that's going to be one of the highlights of Super Bowl Live. And oh my god, know, how cool! My dear friend Robert Griffith. Um, his company, Zooks, go to Zooks, it's X-O-O-X bag.com. Check these things out, but they are the official sponsor for the Super Bowl zip line and um, have a stage that um, is in the city center. And it, it's, I mean, it's going to be amazing. There's so many amazing um, parties and concerts and things going on. It's just, I really hope it's not that cold. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> no lie, those Zeus bags are awesome. I was checking them out online a couple days ago, and I was like literally salivating. They are so cool. Well, you want the Tiffany <laughs> blue one. I want the Tiffany blue one, or the pink one, or the black one, or all three. Why not all three? No, so honestly. Riff, I want all three. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, there's some, like Terrell Owens. Uh, he's gonna He's involved with, with uh, the Zeus bag. Um, oh, awesome! Yeah, so see, and I don't even watch football. I don't know who these people are. I know. I'm so proud of you. But yeah, so I we've know. got a, a lot of a lot of different celebrities are going to be stopping by. They're going to be stopping by our stage. They're going to be taking pictures with the Zooks bag. A um, lot of press. In fact, I do have advertising opportunities for people if they want. So, let's say you're a smaller business owner, and you have the opportunity to get your business's name on the international stage that is the Super Bowl. We will be having... Oh, my having, God, are you kidding? No. We've got media, 5,800 media outlets that are going to be all the press releases, everything going to that. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, so it's, it's really a big deal. Um, That's a marketing dream right there. No, it really is. It really, really, really? is. Really? So it's um, people get a hold of me, message me. Um, I'll put I'll put some more information out about that. There's some oh, and there's another really good party. There's two other parties too. Um, Talance Sawyer is doing the purple and gold event. Um, that's on Thursday night, the second. No, the first. I'm sorry, Thursday night, February first. That's at the Mermaid. That starts at nine o'clock. They also have a bowling tournament. Who's the guy that's doing it? Talance Sawyer, and okay. that's. He's a former Viking, but Thank um, you. <laughs> there's going to be easily 50 athletes at this party. So a lot Oh, of, my God. Cool. Yeah. So a lot of names, some Hall of Famers. Yeah, and that's Super Bowl awesome. Winners. Those, that's the type of stuff you want to have a lot of fun with, and you don't want to have, like, the terrible catty women there that give women a bad name. Well, no, you know what? They can they can be there all they want. You know, here's what here's what matters is a good portion of the proceeds are going to the Robert Griffith Foundation. Oh well, then bring the caddy ones out along and Everybody, open your checkbook. Come one, come all. No, it's all you know what? It's all for a good cause. And the thing oh, is, what's yeah, more exactly. important is have a good time. Know your people. Be with your people. Don't worry about the other people. You really don't. And, have and what to. does the Robert Griffith Foundation do? You know what? He has had this. He started this back when he played for the Vikings, and okay. he's given out scholarships. So to date, he's given out thirty scholarships to the kids that you know are underprivileged. That I mean, they've gone to schools like West Point. Like um, what? No, he's had some really amazing kids go through that is different so incredible University of, of Minnesota. No, is such a good guy. No, he really is. He's got a really big heart. He's genuine. Definitely very genuine. But um and very, very real. Very real. Very fun. Awesome guy. Good friends. Mm-hmm. Very good friend of my family. But um yeah. 
No, so, I mean, a portion of the proceeds for that party is going to be going to the Robert Griffith Foundation, and they're also collecting sports equipment for the Boys and Girls Club of America. So that's, oh, that's phenomenal. Thursday night, so that's to Lance Sawyer, and then my friend Tyrone Carter is having his party Friday night, and that's also at the Mermaid. Where's that at? At the Mermaid. That's at the Mermaid, too. So here's the deal, you guys. Honestly, everything is right downtown Minneapolis, but you got to pay for parking. This is free parking and free coat check. And they're going to have VIP, and they've got DJs. They've got, I mean, just tons of celebrities stopping by. Freeway Ricky Ross is going to be there signing his books. Um, no way. So really great couple of events. There's other events like um, Jamie Foxx is having one that Friday night. Shaquille O'Neal will be doing the DJ. And so that that's going to be, i got to stop by that So one. I can send my Minnesota Vikings people to your parties, right? Yeah, you know what? Get a hold of me because I have some tickets. I have. You do? I do. I have tickets. Get your Minnesota people to get a hold of me because okay. I can give them some really good deals on some tickets oh, to these yeah, parties. Oh, yeah, definitely. So don't hesitate. But Oh, my God. It's time for us to go. We need I'm to wrap it up. Fast. Can we do this again? This was fun. I know. This is like when we talk normally. We can definitely do this again. You know how much I love you. I love you too, honey. All right, my person. Thank you, everybody, for All listening right, to person. us. <laughs> talk to you. Thank you. Hope you guys feel fast. All right. Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye.